Pelosi's the royal. <laughs> I'm high off that data, baby. Nancy Pelosi just went all in on Google. So if that's not foreshadowing where the elites are aligning their capital, I don't know what to tell you. For a century, the world ran on oil. Today, it's something lighter, faster, and everywhere. Data. It flows through cities, fuels decisions, and powers innovation. Those who capture it, refine it, and put it to work will lead the future. Data is the new oil. What if I told you it only took one subnet to flip the entire narrative of the centralized AI? Not 50 subnets, not 128 subnets, just one subnet that provides real revenue, real utility and use case, and real demand. And today, I wanna talk about subnet 60 big set. I think the most important thing is using the right tools and understanding what makes a good subnet. I like this Talisman AI Signal Explorer, Subnet Explorer. Uh, we'll be going over the alphanomics of BitSec Subnet 60, but I also want to explain why I'm using this. First and foremost, you got to have an understanding of how Tau flow works. Um, simply put, to a subnet that has a positive flow, right? You can see that the alpha flow is net positive and also the Tau flow is net positive. This shows you that people are interested. They have active traders. Uh, they may have a, a product that generates revenue like we see from a few subnets, but generally they have activity, right? You want a subnet that has activity in the form of alpha flows and tau flows so it doesn't get deregistered or delisted. And I think that this website here, talisman.xyz, make sure you go to the Twitter page and click on the right website. I like to utilize tools that actually make sense when going over a bit tensor subnet because you know in in theory you in in theory this is just a startup you want to make sure you're you know invested in a really really good startup um i also would throw the code you know head over to github check out the repository throw that code into an ai tool and just make sure that the code matches up with, with the subnet owner is working to sell right you can also go over the code to make sure it doesn't have any malicious things in the code but uh, apparently BitSec Subnet 60 does that for you and autonomously. So we're going to talk about everything it does. You can see that they do have 131 active traders, about five tau per trade. That's actually really good. And 32% hold, uh, hold the top 10, right? So not really top heavy. You don't want this over 50%. You want to see a generally good, uh, you know, distro with the subnet. And it's currently, as far as momentum, in a accumulation stays. I also like the sentiment feed here because it marks bullish or bearish sentiment, depending on if somebody posts something bullish or bearish and actually shows up on the screen here. So they actually took a book out of what we've seen from some of the trading terminals on Solana, like GMGN and even Coin Market Cap, and they kind of meshed it all together. I love it. I love it here. Uh, so guys, make sure you use this whenever you're checking out a subnet. But let's talk about what BitSec actually does. BitSec is sitting at a $6 million market cap. It's up 10%. And the hourly chart and the daily chart look pretty good. BitSec is absolutely sending. So this is actually something that if I was trading, I would kind of wait for it to cool off. But it has a really, really good utility and use case. And it has the ability to generate big revenue if they are able to ship and execute. So I mean, I like that the team has former experience in crypto. My next experience was as a Cosmos engineer um, on the Cosmos blockchain. And I developed um, critical infrastructure in dApps that were used by hundreds of thousands of Cosmos users. And through that experience, um, it was my first professional blockchain experience. But also, um, one of our dApps had a flaw in it, and it was reported by a white hack security researcher. And it cost our team uh, $200,000. And that's a lot of money for an early stage startup. Um, and through that experience, like security is just really expensive um, in general, and then especially in the blockchain. And a couple months later, over a weekend, uh, I was able to find that same exact exploit with ChatGPT. Um, and that kind of led me down this path, like 
what if we're not the only developers who are trying to move fast, who are trying to help users? And uh, what if there are other exploits that that come out that could have been prevented from AI tools? Coming over to Potenser to build, I think that's a plus. Uh, but yeah, we just went over the Tau flow, we went over the market cap, but let's talk about what BitSec actually does. So it's AI powered security agents for the agentic error. BitSec creates AI security agents that automatically find vulnerabilities in code, like having a team of expert hackers working 24 seven to protect your software. Think of it as an automated bug bounty hunting. Miners compete to build the best vulnerability detection AI while the network rewards whoever finds the most exploits. I really like that, right? And I believe that their uh, incentive mechanism is very similar to Ridges, right? It's like the winner wins all. Key products here is the BitSec scanner. You can upload your GitHub repo and get a security report. You can actually look and in research other subnets by using the BitSec scanner. So this is a product. Then you got the BitSec Hunter, which participates in live bug bounty competitions. This is how the miners earn rewards. This is how you get high quality security reports. This is a $300 billion market that they're disrupting. The global cybersecurity market is projected to reach 300 to 367 billion in 2026, growing 10 to 12% annually. Some estimates include adjacent markets that put it at about 520 billion, which is cute because like we need cybersecurity. AI builds code, but it can break code just as easily. So in theory, you need AI versus AI and BitSec provides a solution, a problem, and that's hacks, vulnerabilities, malware. BitSec provides AI agent workers 24 seven that scan code in crypto for a while, you know that smart contracts get hacked all the time. So instead of just hiring a company or hiring a human to audit your smart contract or your application, you can hire AI workers that work around the clock 24 seven, far more efficiently than hiring a company or someone that's going to do it manually. 1.5 billion smart contract auditing, traditional web to security audits, LLM AI code vulnerability checks. So it, this is bigger than just checking the code. They'll be doing smart contract auditing and security audits in web two. And of course, vibe coded apps providing security scannings. I think that's huge. 45% of AI generated code contains security vulnerabilities. The vibe coding explosion, nearly 50% of GitHub code is now AI generated. Code works 61% of the time, but only 10% is secure. 25% of Y Combinator startups having 95% AI generated code bases. So you've probably seen a lot of these apps come around and people vibe code them. You know, even I've done this, I vibe coded something and didn't fully go over the code as far as the security check i didn't I haven't put in on it now to be fair i haven't you know put out an application to the masses but a lot of people are putting out applications to the masses masses and haven't truly went over their code to make sure that it's not vulnerable and somebody can hack it or take over the code. So this is extremely important as vibe coding becomes extremely popular and it's already becoming popular. BitSec also went from a V1 to V2 upgrade. V2 represents a complete architecture overhaul to accelerate agent improvement. So the minor model is open source. You know, people can use the code. The competition is public so you can see what's going on. Miners can fork and improve. So if you got an idea or an opinion, you can even fork what's already being built and the emissions are now live. So if you have, you know, uh, experience with code and, you know, mining, this is something you could do now on BitSec and earn emissions in alpha by open sourcing agent code miners build on each other's work, similar to how ridges improve benchmarks rapidly through collaboration. Better benchmarks equal more revenue. BitSec's business model is directly tied to the agent performance. They audit competitions. Seven platforms launch new competitions weekly with bounties from 25K up to 1 million in prize pools for finding vulnerabilities. The flywheel, miners compete, better agents. Better agents win more bounties. More bounties equal more revenue. More revenue will attract more miners. And this can be said all throughout 
BitTensor, and it's why I'm so bullish on BitTensor being a base layer for artificial intelligence or just the infrastructure of intelligence. BitSec miners produce top security agents like gold miners panning for gold. BitSec then refines and distributes to paying customers. So this is huge, man. You never can know if a code is safe. You never can be too sure, especially in a world of AI, especially in a world where everything's consistently changing and everybody's using AI. We got to make sure that these codes are safe. These codes that we put in out in front of people are safe. These codes that we are investing in are safe and BitSec provides a solution to a growing problem that has massive demand. So BitSec versus Ridges, very similar, sort of like twins, but totally different. Both subnets use open source agent competition to improve benchmarks. The similarities are open source agents, competitive leaderboard, winner takes all rewards, fork and improve model, benchmarks driven. The difference is security versus coding, vulnerability detection versus code generation. So Ridges helps with generating the code to build something. BitSec goes over that code to make sure that code is efficient, can't be attacked, no vulnerabilities, it's secure. Ridges proved the model works. Benchmarks jump from 17% to 80% on SWE Bench in 45 days through open competition. BitSec aims to replicate this for security. The full product launch should be going live sometime in Q1 2026. Most of the revenue generated is going back to buybacks. You want to make sure that the flywheel also benefits the people that are invested in these subnets. The investors are the ones that are helping these subnets with Tau flow. Inflows, 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 help Tau flow. Inflows are a form of activity. So we need to make sure a lot of the revenue that they're generating is going back to alpha holders in the form of equity in the token. Bug bounty programs are ongoing. The audit competitions, again, 25K to 1 million weekly. It's crazy. This is, this is how liquid subnets are but people would try to fud them but they don't know what they're talking about direct scanning services and then of course subnet security audits which they even audited the bit tensor token itself so i would recommend guys going to check out the podcast they did with yuma yuma consensus right the guys that are you know helping out with bit tensor um go check out that because then you can have an idea what the team is building the fact that the matter is, is that the team is extremely experienced, right? They've done some things in the past um, with a few cryptocurrency projects. So, you know, they have experience. I believe experience helps when starting a startup, subnet, token, coin creation. Go check out a podcast after this video. Go through the code. And I'm pretty much outlining everything from a surface layer so you guys can personally start your research you got to start your research somewhere and you can use my bit tensor briefs as a starting point for your research but everything else is in your hands and that's what this channel is about so make sure you let me know what you found out about bitsec once you go start that research uh anyways guys i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one i don't want to make this video too long it's your boy crypto millie and i'll see you the next one